All right, welcome guys to another play along video. But before we get into that, I need to mention, like if you're watching this right as I uploaded it, in about 15 minutes or something, I'll be playing live in the first ever GeoGuessr real life LAN event World Cup that's being held in Paris. Uh, links for that will be in the description. So go there, check it out. Um, and uh, right now, I, like when the video goes up, I think um, the group one, uh, so there's like group stages, then there's uh, round of 16, quarterfinal, all of that stuff. So we are playing in the groups group stage um, when this video goes live. And I think group one must be playing uh, when it goes up. And then uh, I'm in group two. And group two games will start uh, like 30 minutes. I'll, I'll schedule it to be like 30 minutes before um, or like 15 minutes before the actual uh, thingy. So um, either before or after watching this video, you can choose. But uh, make sure to tune in and uh, show some support. I'm uh, really excited for this event. Um, there's a lot of great teams, a lot of cool people showing up. So, you know, we'll try our best and uh, hopefully we, we don't do too bad. Uh, but uh, any in any case, I'm, uh, I'm very excited for it. So yeah, make sure that you check it out. And uh, yeah, um, let's, uh, let's get into the video now. So since I am uh, recording this before I leave for Paris, uh, I am in the process of practicing a little bit for the tournament and uh, there's going to be a lot of pinpointing and moving stuff uh, in, involved in the tournament so i thought you know what let's make today's play along revolve around uh, pinpointing a little bit so instead of the usual three we're going to do only two games today and they're both going to revolve around pinpointing because that usually takes longer so as always, challenge links for the playlongs will be in the description. You can go ahead, play the challenge, and then you can come back, watch my perspective. I'll explain my reasoning, thought process, tips, and all of that. Um, and then uh, I'll also show you my pinpointing process uh, in this video. And then uh, if you have anything to tell me, teach me, explain to me, then uh, let me know in the comments as well. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into this. For today's video, we'll be doing two maps. One of them is a pinpointable world. So let's get started with that. It's going to be no moving. So uh, yeah, challenge link will be in the description. Go ahead and play it. And uh, hopefully now you're here to watch my perspective. So yeah, hopefully you've finished playing the game. And uh, let's get into it. So let's see what we have. All right, so starting off with the Belgian domain already. Um, but there's a lot of things here that uh, are, tell you that you're in Belgium. First of all is this brick architecture. This is like uh, something that you'll see quite often in uh, Belgium, these red bricks. Uh, you also see similar bricks in the Netherlands, but uh, you know, there's uh, Netherlands would be very flat. It's uh, already too hilly for this to be Netherlands. Um, you have these like uh, blue signs with uh, which, which are shaped like an arrow. That's a Belgian thing. And um, you also have a bit of French. So yeah, in Belgium, in Belgium you'll see French, uh, Dutch, or Frisian, I guess, and uh, a bit of German as well, I think. But uh, yeah, bunch of a uh, bunch of ways to tell Belgium apart. They also have a bit of red on their plates, so that helps. Uh, and the thing is, in Belgium you have the street signs. And on the street sign, you also have the city name written. So I, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, La Louvière here is the city we are in. Oh, another thing is that Belgium, you'll often have these like orange colored posts. These are very common uh, in Belgium. So let's see, La Louvière. And then we also have this uh, sign to Binche, something like that. Uh, that's La Louvière and that's Binche. Okay, so that was <laughs> surprisingly quick. So we are on Rue Sil... Ah, I don't, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. <laughs> I already know I'm going to butcher it. But um, that should be here. Yeah, this lines up. Bank CPH. I don't see... Oh, that's CPH, yeah. And uh, should be there. All right, so let's go next round. All right, interesting round this time. We have a language here. This is a uh, Sinhalese. You can see the script. Uh, you can remember that. It's it's it, you get like similar Tamil script as well. This is a 
wait, this is Tamil script, yeah, so <laughs> the, there's the difference already. This is Sinhalese and this is Tamil, you can see the difference there. Uh, but you get this in uh, Sri Lanka. Um, so we should be in Sri Lanka. Another thing in Sri Lanka is that uh, this is Gen 4. In Sri Lanka, you get low cam with Gen 4. Uh, and the way you can tell low cam is that you get this wide blur because the camera is closer to the ground, so it results in a wider blur for the car. Um, you also have yellow plates. You see those in Sri Lanka. So pretty much a bunch of fins pointing towards Sri Lanka. Um, and uh, yeah, I think uh, let's let's get into the pinpointing part now. So it says Vavunia. I've heard of that. It's it's fairly big, I think. Vavunia is right there. Okay. And then it says uh, Department of Agri something Department uh, or or Development Department of something. Okay, so it could be like a university as well. Or it could be like some government uh, office type thing. Um, this could be quite this. This could require a bit of scanning, to be fair. Oh, there's the University of Manovia. Um, I don't really see this one. Um, the road curves a bit there and here. Again, lining up this compass like this really helps with the road angle because uh, then you know that the road is angled like this on the map as well. Um, yeah, I don't really know if it's there to be honest. Hmm, interesting. So I'll give it a bit of a scan. If if I don't see it, then um, I don't want to scan for too long. Firstly, because it takes a while to scan some things and uh, I don't want to make the video too long. And secondly, because I, do, I don't have that much time on my hands. It's like 1.30 a.m. and uh, I don't want to stay up for that long. Institute is another something institute is here. Uh, man, I wish there was a little bit more info here. Like it does say Vavunia, but uh, yeah, this is taking a bit too long for my uh, my taste. So, oh wait, Pulis Balmoral Rest Hotel and Rest. Oh, I did not see that. Um, that's not here, right? Surely not. So I guess we're not there. It's like a hotel? Interesting. Princess Rose. That's not what it said, I think. Oh, damn. They also have hotel names in, um... Uh, Yeah, that's the thing that this could be like outskirts of uh, Vavuni as well. It doesn't have to be downtown, you know? Because, um. Man, this is really a pain to find, isn't it? Punewa? Is that what it says? Because it could be like the Vavunia district or whatever. Okay, I'm taking way too long on this. I I, I can't uh, I can't spend more time. <laughs> I literally don't have enough time to spend on this round. Rockside Hotel. Yeah, I think I looked enough. So maybe there's something else that I've missed, but uh, this is taking way too long. So let's guess somewhere. Regional Council. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go there. Okay, we were... Ah, okay. If I zoomed in on this part, I guess uh, I would have seen. There's a train station. Oh, that was a train station, really? Interesting. Huh, maybe if I made that out, that could have helped. 
I wonder if it said that it's a train station in the old coverage. Oh, it says it says railway station. Okay, so this must have been selected when the the coverage was uh, the old coverage. So, yeah, the, I guess the updated coverage kind of <laughs> screws up a little bit, but uh, still doable. All right, CA1. This time it's uh, Guatemala, um, and that's to the south. And then where's CA1? Let's start with that. That's CA1. And then we have a road going off to Tekpan. Iximche, which uh, is going off this way. I've heard of Tekpan. Where is that? Um, there's Tekpan. I don't know about what Iximche is, but um, could we be somewhere out here? Let's see now. Let's uh, line up the road. There's something overhead, and the road bends east in both directions pretty much so what are we looking for then something ah uh, something like that but doesn't seem to go road angle doesn't fit either um all right so then oh this maybe looks all right ah we have something going off there um, there's a restaurant of some kind, Los Pinos, is that what it says? Um, I'm not sure. Oh, there's this here, Pew, Pumo? Puma, yeah, there, there we go, so they should be here somewhere. Ah, let's go there. <clears throat> nice. Okay, let's keep going, next round. Looks like we are in uh, urban Europe here. It looks like it's Italy because we have this uh, via sign. That's what you see in Italy. You also have language. Um, not to mention these double blue plates. So what do we have? It says Bologna here. So I'm guessing we're in uh, Bologna then. <sighs> All right. Let's take a look at uh, Bologna then. That's right here. Um, so we have a uh, via draperi and caprari. Okay. Um, okay, there's, uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of street names here, and I don't like the idea that I have to scan all of these to find the correct one. Maybe I should look for a POI instead. Bottega del Cafe. Is that going to show up? It looks like the city center. Um, somewhere. Don't see it yet. But uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of... A uh, <laughs> lot of, lot of POIs. Uh, how do we find this now? feel like the road angle is even hard to tell here. Is that what it said? Calzoleri? No, it said Caprari and Trappari. Oh boy, this is uh, this is just annoying to be honest. Scanning for these is uh, pretty, pretty annoying. Um, that's not it. None of these fit. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going crazy looking at this. I don't want to do this. Um, yeah, okay, I've, I've taken, a, taken a decent look, I think, and I don't see it, so... You know what? I accept defeat, and... Uh, I'll just click... Unless it says something here. Launa Basu. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm just going to click. Oh, what? I had the 5k. Am I blind? How, <laughs> how did that happen? Okay, whatever. How did I literally have the 5k and not see it? Alright, anyway. This time we are in uh, Chile. Then there's a bunch of clues. We have the flag, first of all. We have this white car with uh, quite a bit of the white visible. That's typical for Chile. Sun is in the north. 
and then we have um, Chilean poles. I'm trying to see if there's a one that looks nice. Uh, let's take a nice view of it. Not really. I guess you, you just have to deal with these. But um, yeah, you can see like it has indents in it, uh, similar to the Brazilian pole, but uh, it's it's a little bit different. Like, if you see it enough, you'll see you'll figure out the difference. Um, Chile also will have uh, white lines usually, uh, outside and middle. Sometimes it'll have like all yellow, um, but usually it's white. So there you go. Um, and then we 5k this. So Osorno is a place I've definitely heard of. There it is. Um, and then we have the 215 going to it. And then Puerto Chalupa or something is to the south. So I don't see that right away. And then... Uh, oh, there we go. This is the intersection, I think. Wait, U465. Okay, this is the intersection. And then uh, we are a little bit east of it. We have this thing called uh, Pesca Sergio Santana. So, where is that? Pesca. Wait, what's the road angle here? So the road angle is just like this, yeah. Is it just this? Because you see this road bending like that, so... I guess that makes sense. I don't see this. But uh, it should be here. Cool. So there we go. Um, I missed uh, one round, I think. Yeah, that's because I... Couldn't be bothered finding this in uh, Sri Lanka. If I figured out it was a railway, then uh, it would have been easy because the railway lines, you can see like a thin black line here. Then you can uh, just use that and the road angle to 5k usually. So anyway, there we go. That's uh, that done. And then let's move on to the next map, which is going to be a geodetective. And uh, this one is made by Geography Challenges, who's also playing in the Paris event. So he's in group three, I think. So you should, uh, you should also... Uh, stick around to watch his games. So anyway, let's get into this. Challenge link again will be in the description. Hopefully you have played the challenge already and now you're here to watch my perspective. So let's get into this. Alright, so Geodetective is sort of similar to Pinpointable World in the sense that there'll be enough clues to 5k. Uh, but sometimes it may take more thinking and uh, reasoning and stuff. So anyway, this time we are in Australia and there's a bunch of ways to tell it. First of all, we have these uh, Australian bollards. Sun is in the north, which you'll see when you're in the southern hemisphere usually. Um, pretty wide roads, you get that in Australia. Um, white lines on the outside and in the middle. And then you have these typical Australian signs that are like green shaped. Um, yeah, whatever. So... Also, these are uh, black and uh, white chevrons. It's a pretty typical, and the landscape, of course, very dry. So we have the Northwest Coastal Highway, which is uh, right here. And uh, let's see, uh, Caratha is to the northeast. Port Hedland is northeast. Uh, Carna Carnivoron, I've heard of that. There it is. Um, and then. Mini Minilia? Oh, th there it is. Let's put Headland. There. Okay, so we're somewhere in between this. And uh, we have an off-road to Exmouth, which is there. Potentially, we are right here. No, we're not, because it says uh, Bucket Road. So, maybe this. There we go. So, that should be the 5k. <laughs> And, uh, nice, let's keep going. Alright, this time we have a sign here. But it uh, looks like we need a bit more info than this because this doesn't give you too much. It's just uh, street names and base names and whatnot. But um, yeah, I think we are in the US. I wonder if uh, <laughs> this was meant to be... Let's see what this says first. Corpus Parish. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, hints for the U.S. Let's get. It. Let's go step by step. Uh, you have MPH here, miles per hour. That's something you'll find in the U.S. Um, 
because <laughs> they still use it for some reason. Uh, you have this yellow line. Now notice that this is not a yellow outside line. It's just a divided road. So this is technically a middle yellow line. It's just a divided road. So you can only see one yellow. And then you have white outside lines. Um, so that's a uh, yellow middle lines usually indicate Americas as well. And then you have um, um, these sort of, wait, no, not these. These sort of like uh, optic fiber thingies, which uh, you, I'd say you'll see quite quite commonly in um, in uh, in the thingy in the US. Um, oh, that's a Texas flag. That's not what I was thinking. No, no way this is Texas. Like maybe the he headquarters of this company are in Texas or something. But there's another one. That's crazy. We have these palm trees, which made me think Florida. And then uh, it says uh, Corpus here. I'm not really sure if, um, if that tells me something. But I know there's a Corpus um, Christi, or however you pronounce that, in uh, Florida, which I guess makes sense. Uh, I mean, in Texas, which I guess makes sense with these Texas flags. And uh, it's also on the coast, so maybe that makes sense with the palm trees. So I guess. I guess that would make sense. All right. Um, so we have a uh, something there: naval air station, CC Army depot, and uh, okay, it's going to be a pain to 5k in a big city, but let's give it a shot. Road angles, <laughs> please help me, because <laughs> uh, did it say no? Naval air station. Oh boy, this is uh, this is really annoying. CC Army Depot. Oh, CC stands. Oh, okay, I get it now. Um, it's just a city name. I should have been quicker with that. Uh, it took me a while to figure out the city. Um, oh boy, this is pretty annoying to 5k. So, we're at some kind of intersection with the roads above me, but. There are plenty of roads like that, so... What does this say? Taller times or something? Ah... Uh, and we have a... Ocean Drive and... Stuff like that, so... Still trying to see where exactly we would be. Oh, that's to the east. So yeah, that's Ocean Drive, and uh, where's the other one? No, give me a street name. Huh. See, so that's Shoreline Road, and here it turns into Ocean Drive, so surely we're like... What happens above me? It's kind of like splitting, no? Like the roads above me are going two different ways. So where would that be? Oh man, this is taking me a really long time. Um, it doesn't have to be there as well. Like it could be like somewhere out here either, uh, or I mean as well. I don't know. Um, yeah, this is taking too long. I I, I don't want to waste this much time. I thought this kind of made sense, but I don't think so. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I give up. I'm taking too long for this. Oh, we were just in this big thing. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I don't see the oh caller times. Yeah, I didn't. Oh, I guess you had to zoom in a lot. Okay, whatever. Well done if you five k'd it. Um, nice job. All right, let's move on. We have um, Kiev here going to the south. Uh, but we are in Russia, I think, because we have, um, firstly, we have the black car with antenna. So usually in Ukraine, you'll only get that around Donetsk. Uh, and then you have these 
black paint on the bottom of poles so that's a, a russian thing i think so you don't get that in uh, in the in ukraine also extremely wide roads um, so if kiev is down there then we shouldn't be too far uh, from ukraine and veliki that's the thing as well, is that you need to learn how to read Cyrillic. That's uh, something very important for GeoGuessr. It doesn't take that long. It's not as intimidating as it sounds, but uh, definitely worth learning. Um, so, see, like, uh, I guess the language is also like a uh, hint here because uh, Kiev is written differently in uh, Ukraine, and I'm pretty sure. This is like the Russian way of writing it, I suppose. Anyway, I don't really know where the other place is. Um, it's probably going to take me a bit of scanning to find it if it's a small place. Uh, which would be a bit annoying. I don't want to spend uh, too much time scanning for this. But we do have a place called uh, Velikia. Loki <sighs> to the east. Hmm. Unless this is like literally on the border, that could be convenient. But uh, I don't seem to see that. So I don't really know. Huh. Well, I definitely don't want to spend too much time on this round, so let's say I'll give it 30 seconds. If I don't see it in the next 30 seconds, I'll just make a guess. Oh, Velikia, Luki, I see it. Okay. So it's there, and uh, how does this line up then? Because... Uh, that's to our east. Are we just here? That doesn't really make sense, I think, because the road bends and it's a... Uh... No, that doesn't make sense. It's a T-intersection and uh, the road bends where we are. Um... The thing is, with uh, something like this, <laughs> it's really hard to figure out what where we are. We have this uh, petrol pump that's <sighs> helpful, I guess. 62 kilometers. I have no idea how much that is going to be. Um, maybe this? Ah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. That makes a lot of sense because we go straight down into Ukraine from here. Oh wait, into Belarus from here. So I think we should be right here. Maybe a bit further up here. Nice. All right, let's go again. Uh, I mean, let's go to the next round. Oh, this is a... This, I know this one already, I think. So here we are in Tunisia. And the way you can tell that is... Uh, well, you have this follow car, which is uh, right now in front of us. <laughs> But usually it's behind us. Um, you have this antenna, the European looking antenna that you also get in Tunisia. Um, it's very, very dry, we're driving right, and then you have black number plates. So that's a, another like a Tunisia thing that helps you out. Um, other than that, this kind of architecture, like a typical like Mediterranean architecture, white buildings with, uh, you know, blue windows or whatever um, and then Tunisia it should just be right here somewhere on the bridge to Cherba I think let's check the road angle here yeah that looks right we should be right here I think so let's make a guess again road angles helping a lot um, if you look at the Tunisia coverage, which I'd recommend you to go to just like uh, the GeoGuessr map maker or Google Maps and check out where the coverage in Tunisia is. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty much just like along the coast, you know. Inland Tunisia doesn't have much, so you can eliminate uh, all the lakes already. 
Um, and then the, this island called Jabba also has coverage. So this is a pretty recognizable bridge if you've seen it a few times. Uh, but if not, then you can definitely scan for it using the road angle. So anyway, let's move on to the next round. Then this uh, this looks like it's actually going to need some uh, detective work. <sighs> it doesn't look uh, as straightforward as some of the previous rounds, I'd say. Interesting. So we have... Um, don't really have any signs, do we? I mean, it's also possible that there were signs in a previous coverage and the coverage was overridden. But uh, let's take a look. Um, wait, <laughs> which way is this written? I think it's like this. Something... Oh boy, I can't read that. Um, I don't really know what this is. There's a castle there, and um, I guess we just have Gen 4 car. We have these European uh, number plates. These signs look maybe, but it can't be Italy. Number plates, unless it's like a tourist car, I guess. Number plates don't really. Oh, wait. Wait. Wait, what? Okay, I thought these signs were Italian, but... One second... Oh, there's this island in between as well. Yeah, this is probably like some famous place that uh, I should know, but I, I don't know famous places. Why does this look like the Gibraltar rock to me? But it's not, it's just some castle. Um, I guess my guess here is just Spain then. Um, but it could be France, I guess, as well. Um, trying to see if there's something that helps me narrow it down a little bit. Um, let's take a look at the road angles, I guess. We have uh, water to the north. I don't really want to scan all the coasts, but uh, like this maybe, but there's no island in between. That doesn't fit either. See, this is something that I would speed up usually if I'm uh, if I'm uh, able to edit the video, but I don't have time to edit the videos, so... Um, Interesting one. I don't really know where this is. Maybe it's... It doesn't... Is it really northern? Mm -hmm. What if it is north coast of Spain? And there's an island here. But does it really look like that? Road angle doesn't fit, right? I guess I'm at a roundabout like this, maybe. Maybe this fits? Some kind of museum or plaza, I guess. Yeah, sure. Um, we do have this island, and then we have that coast there. This actually lines up pretty well, to be honest. Contemporary sculpture on the waterfront. Maybe it could be that. And we have like a maybe that thing on top. And there's a beach here. Yeah, I think this lines up pretty well. I'm just going to go for that. That's really cool. So this was a very good round. I really enjoyed that round. Like, uh, you, you didn't really have any text clues. You just had to use the landscape there. So that's awesome. And uh, I hope you guys had fun with that as well. Maybe some of you just knew the place. But um, for those of you like me who didn't, I uh, hope that was a fun geodetective round. So... There we go. I end it again without a perfect score because uh, <clears throat> I didn't really find this uh, in um, in the US. But uh, in any case, that was for, that was a really fun video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, let me know um, any like specific maps that you would like to try on, in these playalongs as well. And uh, maybe we could do them in a future playalong. 
uh, but yeah anyway um, this is again going up on the day I'm playing the World Cup so I'll recommend you to check it out the World Cup is gonna go on like the whole day so on the 22nd of October which is uh, which should be when this goes up so you should uh, be able to check out the broadcast and uh, support your favorite teams so yeah hopefully you do that and uh, you have a fun week and I will see you guys next week um, again with a normal video and a play along so see you guys then and uh, hope you have a nice day bye bye